So, here we go. Red and red are up on the lift and uh, getting ready for the transplant. Um, this is the first time I've tried using the lift like this. Um, I think it'll work pretty good, you know, because you can walk right between them. Take the parts off this one, take the parts off this one, switchy, switchy, swappy, swappy, and make one sled out of two. Hey guys, it's that again. Oh, look what we're looking at today. We're looking at the old Yamaha. This is the motor that has 60 pounds of compression and no spark. That one over there is the one that has 150 pounds of compression and spark. So this one's coming off, that one's coming off, and we're switching them, putting it on this one. Uh, I did get the bolt out. That came out easy with the impact gun. And we have the clutch tool to get her apart, hopefully. Seems like it threads into something, so I think we'll be good. Only thing is, is the tin here is in the way. So let's get that motor slid back a little bit so we can get in there and see if we can pop this sucker. Okay guys, we had to get kind of creative here. I got a 2x4 jammed in here to push this motor back. I'm not sure why, if the tunnel is that messed up or what, but good old electric Harbor Freight impact. Let's see what happens here. Come right off. That was too easy. That was way too easy. Well, the hardest part is because we're getting it past this tunnel. But I could pull the motor and then it'll come out through that way. So, show you guys here. See? She slid right off. All loosey goosey, ready to go. So that worked good. I'm right off. So now all we got to do is get all the bolts out of the motor and uh, get her out of the hole. The motor is loose. I know you guys are bouncing around because I got you connected to the cowl, but um, we've got to get the uh, recoil rope unhooked and then uh, we can get you guys up out of there. What else we hooked to? There we go. Oh, and we got a little rat's nest in here. Where? Right there. Where? And they got a. I don't oh. believe that's factory to have a block of wood. That's a rat nest, all right. Jammed underneath it. So they got a got a block of that wood. Is right here. Rat you can eat it if you'd like. I'm good. Good, okay. I think we'll be on Got a piece of wood in here too. And some screws that don't look factory. Not sure what the thought process is behind that. But uh you can see where the bottom of the motor rubbed against it. So it definitely you guys see that right there so oh they blocked it up I don't know maybe it give it some protection you know while it was up under there so it didn't get hit and slammed in so much maybe or maybe there's a hole in it I think the first step is to uh, get the uh, rat's nest get it zoomed up here it's what you need to get rid of that got some chicken feathers in it it's nice let's get that cleaned out of there I mean, Kyle. okay
got some feathers in this. I think they had chickens. Okay. Oh, she's trying to suck it through. Jammed up in there. Okay guys, we got her the mouse nest of uh, chicken feathers and uh, whatever else was in there has been uh, sucked out. Um, we're going to have to uh, tear the motor out of the other one and uh, see if there's something better than this contraption here of a piece of wood underneath the other one. Um, I don't think that's factory, but let's go set up over there and uh, we'll get that motor out. Let's get the motor out of this one. Uh, I got the air box off it. Uh, uh -oh. This one had spark and 150 pounds of uh, compression. So uh, it's got a carburetor on it. So let's get her, let's get her out of here. See what Good. Gonna be fun. Let's get the cylinder locked up on it. Yeah, because I'm supposed to get sparks since what happened when you were buffing Pinky. Uh uh. Ow. 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 Dad, did you know wires were covered in plastic? So, uh, to quote uh, this old outboard, we'll try the old Indian rope trick. So, what you want to do. Is you want to get her up on dead center I got a pencil a big ugly one that fits in the hole so we want to make sure that we're down <laughs> below the I'd say right about there and then we just start jamming this is a piece of uh, recoil rope so it's kind of a nylon braided heavy-duty piece of string we shove all that down in the cylinder hole. A little thicker rope would probably do better. Make sure it doesn't come out your valve or out your exhaust port or out the intake. This is a uh, piston port motor, it's not reed valve, so it will squeak out on you. Okay, so we're up against it. Actually, let's go the right way with it. Okay, let's get a breaker bar on there and see if we can break that thing free. Okay. 
Should we get a pipe on it? Or do we need to use something else? Let's go with a, a little bit of attitude adjustment here. I'm going slow on it because I don't want it to... Ugh, break off. That wow. That was... That was on there. I'm pretty sure that's never been taken off. Dad, look it. Look how it landed. Yeah, that's cool. Let's get the bolt out of there. Hopefully the clutch comes off easier than that bolt came out. The new clutch puller. Get that threaded in. Socket on it. We'll try it with the impact on it. We'll spin it. It's got to go back the other way now, so it should catch coming up this way. Seem to. What's that? We don't need those threads for that end of the deal. Okay. I'll get the belt off. We gotta take the motor off to get the clutch to come by. Yeah, definitely you gotta take the motor off. So let's get the uh, throttle linkage off. I'm thinking about, I probably should just pull the linkage and then uh, we'll uh, got to get the oil injection line off. Actually the carburetor can stay on there so the oil injection line can stay. see here With this motor mount oh my God. this had a an adaption for a uh, That's um, electric start on it that side case does the other one doesn't so hopefully that doesn't give us any issues Fourteen mil takes out the motor bolts. A lot of white powder. Not sure what all that's about, but recoil come out, or the rope come out. I think we ring the bell. Definitely, absolutely no room in here. Ow. Should take the carburetor off because you know it's going to have to get cleaned anyway. So. Ow. 
If you heard that clunk, that was my knuckle. Okay. You didn't? Total I did. Because uh, I'm bending my fingers backwards in here. I'm, gonna I'm drop higher the than usual. Yep. So that comes out of there. This fuel line comes on over here. Okay, so there's a metal plate in here that needs to get pulled or squished or something so we can get that out of the way. sure how this does anything here but let's see that kind of bends out of the way we need to pop up out of here Pushes out. I guess that's it. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So, you guys see that? That's a nice little support. Looks like I had foam around it once upon a time. I'll we'll have to put that back on. This handle come down true. back on this side so you guys can see so we got the fuel line off we got that off we're gonna have to disconnect the wiring here and uh, hopefully it's wired the same if it isn't we'll be in trouble figuring it out and then that takes care of that uh, this throttle linkage. I think all we gotta do is pull up on it. Push the rod out. That gets rid of that. Loosen up this nut. And then uh, then that'll slide right out of there. What size is that? 10 mil maybe? Looks kind of smaller than 10 mil. Well, I think I gotta go over here. Let's see if this is 10 millimeters or not. Yeah, 10 mil. Oh, yay! Okay, so that loosens, yay, yay, yay. loosens that up. That should slide up or down one way or another. Well, maybe it threads in. Does I think it does thread in there. I'm mad. Okay, that's out. Now we've got this is our choke, which actually does sort of work. At least it feels like it's working. Um, this machine is this one's got the choke, the choke balls in it. So let's just unscrew this. What size is that? 14 mil? What'd you guys do with that 14 mil? Huh? Get this out of the way. Of 
course it doesn't want to turn on its own. Let's put a little spray on it. Little little PB blaster on that, maybe make it turn a little easier. This is a slow process. It's coming, but I don't have a lot of room to work on getting it up out of there. Okay, so that one's out of the choke is out, throttle's out. This still should be hooked up to the oil pump bolts are sort of out of the motor but it's still stiff so I would say there's got to be another bolt that holds the back side of this motor or something I can't imagine it's just these washers that are holding it but maybe there is a big washer in there Something. Oh, here we go. Haha. <laughs> That's the piece that I think is missing on that one. I think I'll show you guys. Come on over here. You guys, you guys can't see that bolt, can you? Right there. I think that needs to come out of there. And it's a lot smaller than that one. Let's try this one. That'll work. Get all these extensions off here. I don't believe that bolt was in that other motor. That explains why it came out so easy. I don't even know if there's a stud there for that other motor. Okay. off. I got a vacuum line here or something or a return line going onto the oil pump. Oh, it's coming out of the oil reservoir. Got to get that out of there somehow. It should come out though without it. Oops. There it goes. Now we can actually see it. There. That. Right there is what we need to get out of here little weird wire clampy thingy oh, I need another pair of pliers get that out of here now the good luck part I'm trying to get that out of there more than likely I don't know it kind of came off she's pretty stiff though we'll have to replace that line uh, I think we own it. I think it's all ours. Yep, it is. Okay, let's clean up the inside of this a little bit. I'm not too impressed with uh, this piece of plywood they've got in here. I'm pretty sure that's covering up a, a dent or something. But I think it may disperse out a little impact if we smack it a few times it's a technical term uh, smacking it so what I have here is a nice piece of solid round stock and uh, it weighs about I don't know 30 pounds so let's uh, get that fuel line out of the way
think we could use a little more attitude adjustment over there if I can get in there. That looks better. You got the screws all torqued up a little bit. We'll get those out of there. I don't feel any holes under it. So I might have bent those up a skosh trying to smack the bejesus out of them. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with the bottom of this. She was just, I don't know why they did that. thought was behind the plywood. A little rusty on the end. Okay. I think we might have to go back in with a vacuum cleaner and give it another another little vacuum in here to get some of this crud out um, and then thinking about welding that up I noticed over here there's a crack so we'll have to weld that up before we go to set the motor back in so let's get that sucked out of here See if I've got a a rag to dry up some of this. There's crud down in here. Okay, I like it. Uh, let's get the get the welder over here and uh, let's see if we can get a weld on this thing. Looks like it needs one in there too, where it split. I have to do a little persuasion on that. Okay, some of you guys ask what I weld with, and this is what I weld with. So Lincoln uh, SP-135T, I've had it for a long time. Um, I've probably had it for oof, 15 years. Uh, I do not use uh, CO2 Argon, which is the mix. I run straight CO2. And as you can tell by my gauges, they're a little smashed to hell. So uh, I adjust the... Uh, gas by ear so as long as I'm getting some gas flow to it it sounds all right to me and that's how I do it so uh, all you guys that um, you know the the regulators and all that good stuff yeah it's probably good to be exact but one of them tells me my bottles empty and the other one controls the fuel but or the uh, um, shielding gas but I don't know as long as I'm squirting gas it seems to work okay. Uh, the CO2 burns a little hotter. Uh, I know old Brat Rider, he's done a conversion on a, uh, uh, I don't know what kind of welder it was, I can't remember. I want to say a Hobart, but I could be wrong. 
uh, that was a flux cord welder and um, so anyway yeah this old girl works pretty good it's welded a lot of a lot of car bodies back together and it still goes well the key to a good weld is to kind of clean it up a little bit so, Get some of the rust out of it. Looks like we got a crack forming right there. So we'll make sure to zip that on. We got a crack down in here. Okay, we're going to grind down those holes over in there too, so safety third. Any of you guys ever got welding flash before? It's a lot of fun. It's the highlight of your day. Feels like somebody threw a handful of sand in your eyes at about 2 o'clock in the morning. Okay, you guys got your helmet on? You guys are good? Okay. Got a ground? Mm, of course not. Mm, got ground now. You know what I did? You see how that splattered like that? It was all over the spot? You didn't hear the sss. Gotta turn the gas on. That'll plug up your tip real fast. Now listen. Hear that? That's what we want. Got a little warm there. She blew through a little. It ain't pretty, but it'll work. So now we gotta kind of try to jam. I think we just pinch that up a little bit like so. This is up on high, so I'll probably have to kick it down a little, we'll see. Get through. Got it patched up there. Let's get the heat cut down on that a little bit. It's only got four heat settings on it, but it's never seemed to cause me any issues. Okay, now, see if we can make it look decent. It's better. Okay, we've got a crack right there.
all that crack up a little bit. Get that out of there. Like I said, she ain't pretty, but it'll work. Okay. Oh, I was going to weld those holes over there. Why don't you guys remind me? I lost my helmet already. Okay, now we're cooking. Again, not pretty, but it seals them up. Okay. We got any black paint? Should we put a little black paint down in there? That'd probably be good, wouldn't it? Let's see what we got. We got some good quality Walmart flat black Beautiful. A little flat black up in here. If I didn't have any gloss black, that'd probably look better. Ah, that's okay. That'll rub off. I like it. Looks better. Um, let's get this hose up here somewhere where it'll stay. Um, get rid of this. Oops. I think we're about ready to set the motor back in there. This piece of wire they got tying the exhaust down. Let's get that up out of there. We'll fish that up. We'll see if we can find another spring for it. I'm not sure that's how that goes, but we'll have to do some studying on that. Everything else is clean in there. 
cleaner. So let's set the the different motor in. One thing nice is it's light. It doesn't weigh much. Hopefully it won't give us any issues. Might have to take the gas tank out. That sucks. That really sucks. We got to take that out of there. think it's just a few bolts here looks like okay. oh. it looks like there's a couple bolts right down in there you guys see those two bolts Right there, those two got to come out of there, and then it looks like two more over here. It's kind of cool, it's got like a gas cap on it. You guys see that? That's pretty neat. Um, I don't think anything else. Oh, I got a broken weld. See that broken weld? Yeah, well, I guess it's a good thing we're taking the gas tank out. So, let me get on that. Okay, guys. Like I said, I got the gas tank out of there. And there's definitely some breakage here. So, we're going to try to get down in here and try to weld this back together. But... Not easy getting in there. Not easy at all. Let's try it again. better than it was it's ugly I don't think it'll hit the ski when we turn it I think that'll be okay so let's throw a little paint on that bake the paint on it what do I do with that rattle can? Okay, we found some. It's a little hot.
Oh yeah, it's beautiful. A little anti-ruster. So let's set the fuel tank off over here somewhere. And then we'll work on seeing if that motor will fit. Get you guys zoomed out a little. Okay. Okay. Anything else we're forgetting? The stupid hose, which is the fuel line. Jam that in there. Still ain't wanting to go. This bolt hole in the side here. Let's say, what the hell is it? It's got to be close. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. I think. See if we can get a bolt in it. Nothing there. There we go. Got one in it. if the bolt hole will line up better with the clutch okay remember how this one sucked getting in okay I can take the welding helmet off can't really see what you're doing it's kind of going by feel I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it anywhere. Oh, it's way down. Hopefully, we don't have to change the bracket. Yeah, we're half a hole. Oh, that's better. Still in the hole. so close just wants to go in cross right I'm gonna put the nut back on the top I think and uh, that might center it up That's kind of mounted on rubber too. Oh, it's right there. Should go. Should 
go. So I can see the hole perfectly. Ah, there we go. We got her started. So, let's get a ratchet on that. I'm going to go with the one that came off it. Oh yeah, no way. No way. Son of a... Son of a booger. Might be able to squish it down right here. Oh, got my fingers in there. Ouch. I guess that's one advantage of having the puddle be a little uh, broken up. We can wedge it down by. So let's tighten this bolt up that I forgot to tighten up. Before I get too far ahead of myself, what size is that? They are the same length. Threads look to be the same distance. They got a little collar on the end. I'm not seeing any difference. So we'll go with the cleaner one. The other one had a little rust on it. So yeah, the hole lines up better. That should be tight enough. Okay, guys. Um, I got the uh, electrical hooked up and I got the fuel kind of hooked up. It looks like this had a two, two line system on it, um, which is kind of squirrely. I put oil in the oil tank, I hooked up the oil injection, but just to be on the safe side, I did hook up, uh, I did mix up a little Saber uh, 100 to 1. Um, so just just to be on the safe side, I put just a half a gallon in here. I'm going to give it a squirt um, in the carb or in the plug hole and uh, crank it over and see what happens. So let's give her a squirt so you can see where I'm squirting. Okay, I think that's enough of a squirt. It's leaking out the exhaust. So. That in there. Plug wire back on. It's, it's not hooking on there very good, but let's see what happens. Okay, you guys ready? We'll get you right up and close in case it uh, jumps to jumps out of there or something. So let's see what happens. Your oil's on. Gas cap down. Oh, that was interesting. I think it backfired. Oh, that was my shoulder. Oh. Oh. That hurt. When it backfired, I think it popped my shoulder out. Oh, yeah. That hurts. Oh, okay guys, I may have to shut this off for a minute because my shoulder hurts pretty bad. Okay guys, I'm back. I licked my wounds. Man, that shoulder popped bad. Um, so I did put some more fuel in it. Let's see what'll happen. Two hand pull. Well, that was a fire. Put some choke on. That's another fire. Well, that was pretty, pretty interesting. I got too much junk in the way. Just double check that oil. That's good. Key is on. Let's 
put the choke on again. Like I said, I didn't clean this carburetor, so we're just hoping. Well, that was a good sign. Let's lose the choke. Nothing. Back on with the choke. Not well, we could be having some carburetor issues. I would not be surprised. Let's dribble a little gas right down the carburetor on if I can. Well, I kind of hit it. Choke is up. I got another muffler. I think I might put that on there. Whew. Choke is on. Choke. Nothing. What do you think? Did we flutter out? Check the plug. It's pretty wet. It's a resistor type plug, which are, I hate. Can you guys see that? Let me know if it sparks. Oh yeah, it's got spark. Put another squirt down the head. Might take a while to suck fuel all the way through the system because that looked like a lot of fuel, but more of it ran off than ran in it. And like I said, I did not clean this carb, so that carb could be right full of this white powder. I would not be surprised if it was. One last try because my shoulder hurts. Okay. I do. Yeah. We're gonna fix the carburetor so anyway you heard it fired so we got spark we got compression um, I'm not sure it's getting fuel and I'm not sure it's getting through the carburetor so uh, we'll bring you back next time and uh, we'll rebuild that carburetor we'll put it in the ultrasonic and um, we'll go from there Thanks for watching, subscribing, and commenting, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.